Hey folks, Troy with McKay Chevrolet Buick in Gladewater, Texas. Join us today, we're going to White Oak to teach uh, the fire department about the safety elements of the Chevy Volt. It's really not that big a thing in Dallas or Houston where you see a lot of these vehicles, but the cars are coming here and it's just a matter of time. You know, the federal government said that by the year 2015, they expect to have one million uh, electric vehicles on the road in America. And when you start looking at one million, that's, that's a chance of a vehicle being in an accident or a fire here in White Oak area. And I just wanted to get this information out here to you guys so that you're going to be safe when you approach one. And it's not just a Chevy Bolt. This application really is going to apply to the Nissan Leaf, the BMW that's coming out, the Cadillac. Mercedes has an electric vehicle. It's going to hit the market here in a few days. So the technology's here. We're not going to turn away from it. So when we're looking at the vehicle, there's a lot of things that, that we need to, to think about. First of all, if you respond on the scene of a vehicle accident, Nine times out of ten, you're not going to know that the vehicle's running. I showed a, a few of the guys that already. You turn the vehicle on, you cannot hear it. Uh, especially when it's in an electric mode. If it's running off the generator, then there is a slight hum to it, and that's about it. So we'll discuss that principle first. The Volt has a gas generator, what we used to think of as a car engine, and then it has two transverse electric motors in the compartment next to it. So you've got the, the car will plug into a 110, 120, or a 220, 240 electrical uh, charging station. At 110, the car takes about 8 to 10 hours to charge up. At 220, it, it takes 4 hours. Okay, So the car will run on electricity for about 40 miles. Once it runs out of electricity, then it switches over to the gas generator engine. And that provides the uh, power to the electric motors. Okay, so. The gas motor is truly not driving the car, it's driving the electric motors. That's the main thing we've got to keep in mind about uh, this particular GM product. This car contains a battery uh, that consists of eight smaller cells within it. The battery stands um, about four feet tall in a T and it weighs about 400 pounds. These sections can be removed by service personnel and replaced if a battery section goes bad. Now what we've got to keep in mind is for y'all's safety, there's key points in the car that we don't want you to touch. So what GM has done First of all, General Motors was the first in the industry to come up with the firefighter helmet uh, designator on vehicles that shows you where those points are. Secondly, uh, GM made the bright orange co uh, cord that you're going to see on the car to let you know that that is a hazard area. Okay? The car actually has an access panel in two locations. Uh, right where you rest your elbow. You open up the console, remove the cover within, and there is a plug and this is a manual disconnect plug. You just reach in, grab the edges of it, like on a 18 volt electric drill, you know how it's got the little press points on it, slap in. Basically the same, same thing you reach in, grab it, and then pull up, and it's kind of hard to pull up because they do that so the kids don't pull it up while mom's driving down the road. Um, once you remove that, that manually kills the electrical system as well. 
generator um, actually turns the DC to AC, and that's the reason we have that, that type of charge in the system. Secondly, the primary airbags that y'all used to, the, the, the steering wheel and the passenger side front, those are secondary style bags. They're, they're two stage. So if you respond to a to a, a motor vehicle accident and the, the bag is blown on the steering wheel, but not on the passenger side, if you're first on the scene, make sure it's been one minute before you start uh, messing with that because after a minute it's safe. Within that minute, it, it could actually just charge. Okay. Um, we can count well back here. Okay, actuator. On this particular vehicle, and I can't tell you for any other vehicles, but on this vehicle, the actuator is located about right here. Okay. So you see the little secondary window right here in the, the rear door. It's almost above that. So your cut point is going to be, if you look at the, the post here, the cut point is going to be from there forward. Okay. So let's go around here to the back. This is the access cover. And the access cover has a fire helmet. Y'all can pass that around. Where's the engine? This is the engine over here? Right. And this is the generator? This is the generator. That's the generator. What used to be the engine for a car is now the generator. This is the battery. Um, so gas uh, runs the generator too? Yes. Wow. Okay. And what is this? This, this is the electrical uh, box, and then underneath it is the electrical drive unit. And then the battery runs in the center of the car. Really, right. really nothing on that hood we're going to cut. Right. Nothing on that hood we're going to cut. Hey, thanks again, folks, for checking out the EMT first responder training on the Chevrolet Volt. For more information, you can contact us at www.mckeg.net, or you can come see us at McKeg Chevrolet Buick, Gladewater, Texas. We're at 1100 East Broadway Avenue. Thank you.